Well, nothing's gonna happen. But it is gonna happen in this video. Today, mask effect. <laughs> How's it going people? Welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in again. So video editing is sometimes overwhelming. When I touched Premiere Pro for the first time, that was, you know, a lot. I didn't know where to click and even though I had something that I didn't know and I wanted to search, but I didn't know how to search. But now I know something. Maybe you guys know something too, so I can make video like this. And if you know something about video editing, also, you guys can comment below too for when beginners visit this video. So today, mask effect. Yeah. Alright, so this is what mask effect looks like. The wind is too strong right here, so let's go back to the studio and do tutorials. Alright, welcome back. So, let's jump to Premiere Pro. So first thing first, you need to shoot exact footage for this mask effect. So in this case, you know, left to right, and this pillar is going to mask all of this. So this right side is going to be, you know, masked out. Okay, turn down the screen size to around 50%. It's much easier to do. And you need to find where the mask starts. In this case, this small space right here. So this is when the mask starts. Okay, so I hit the pen tool right here and you're going to make this shape and hit the invert, bam, the mask. And what you're gonna do next is to line this shape up with this, you know, the small space, you know, this line very nicely. But you don't have to be crazy about this. Well, I'm lazy about that. Okay, so line up nicely. Maybe you should add some mask feather to kill edge. Maybe 50 or 60% is good. And I'm going to expand this mask. Yeah, like this. And make sure it lines up very well. So once you line up nicely, hit the left arrow key on the keyboard to go backward one frame. And hit the keyframe, all of this. And move this mask away, make sure it's not on screen yet. And after this, select the footage again and hit the right arrow key on your keyboard. Move forward one frame and line this mask up with this pillar like this. And once you're done, make sure you're selecting this footage and again, hit the right key to move forward one frame. And there is gonna be space between pillar and the mask you made. So hit mask and move this mask to line up with this pillar and repeat this. And make sure that also you mask those edges and move this mask left and line up nicely. And you're going to do the same thing until you mask all of it. Okay, so pretty much done. Last one. Bam, masked out. So let's play back. Whoop, yeah, nicely done. Okay, so once you're done with masking, move this footage above and also move the next footage to where the mask starts. In this case, right here and plate ah oh, nice smooth mask effect and make sure that there isn't any weirdness between the first and the second footage it seems all right and done so if you have more than two footages like this time just apply same thing on other footages just repeat what i did so i recommend that practicing with a simple shape like this time you know pillar so once you get the idea of this mask effect Apply same thing on some advanced footages. Well, people and landscape is kind of tricky for mask effect, so I think it's gonna be good practice for it. Well, I use this mask effect a lot because I can use this in a lot of ways, you know, vlog, travel movie, and short film. I know it's a lot of work because you have to do frame by frame, but mask effect is going to make your video looks better. So if you have any question about video editing, leave a comment below. I will do my best. So today's topic is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video if you like this one show me your thumb and hit the subscribe and i'll see you at the next video so once you mask out oh it is shaken this building is shaken earthquake no it's it's seriously Earthquake while I'm shooting. Ah.